How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. Part 3, How to Break the Worry Habit Before It Breaks You. Chapter 6, How to Crowd Worry Out of Your Mind. I vividly recall a night from a few years back when Marion J. Douglas, not his real name, as he requested confidentiality, shared a deeply personal story with my adult education class. Marion recounted the profound sorrow he endured after two heartbreaking losses in his family. His first tragedy was losing his beloved five-year-old daughter. He and his wife found it nearly unbearable, but then, ten months later, they were blessed with another daughter, only for her to pass away five days later. This double loss left Marion devastated. He couldn't sleep, eat, or relax. His nerves were shattered and his confidence diminished. Doctors suggested remedies, such as sleeping pills or a trip, but nothing eased his grief. As he described it, his body felt as if it were in a tightening vice. But through this despair, he found solace in an unexpected place, his four-year-old son. One day, as Marion sat despondent, his son asked him to build a toy boat. Though he wasn't in the mood, he eventually gave in, and the three hours he spent building the boat turned out to be his first moments of peace in months. Marion discovered that focusing on this small task allowed him to feel relief, leading him to realize that being active helped him cope. Determined to keep his mind occupied, he began listing household tasks needing attention. Over the following weeks, he found more than 200 repairs and improvements to keep him busy. Gradually, he filled his life with meaningful activities, from community engagements to supporting charities, which left him no time to worry. Marion's story illustrates that keeping busy helps prevent worry from taking over, a lesson echoed by Winston Churchill, who worked tirelessly during wartime and claimed to be too busy for worry. Many notable figures discovered that focusing on meaningful work is a powerful remedy for anxiety. Charles Kettering, while inventing the automobile self-starter, was so immersed in his work that he was too preoccupied to worry about financial struggles. Similarly, the famous scientist Louis Pasteur found peace through his dedication to research. Busy researchers rarely face nervous breakdowns as they are absorbed in their work, leaving little room for worry. The value of staying engaged to drive away anxiety is rooted in psychology. When the mind is preoccupied with a specific task, it has no space to dwell on worries, as shown in a simple experiment. Try thinking of two things simultaneously. It's impossible. Engaging the mind in constructive activity prevents worry, even for war veterans suffering from trauma, who found comfort in outdoor activities prescribed by their therapists. This therapeutic approach has been used for centuries. For instance, in the 1700s, Quakers encouraged patients with mental health challenges to engage in manual work, finding that it eased their minds. Psychiatrists today advocate for occupational therapy, using work as a way to heal troubled nerves. Historical figures like Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and Tennyson also relied on this approach to cope with their grief. After Longfellow lost his wife in a tragic accident, he focused on caring for his children, translating works, and writing poetry, which gave him purpose and eventually restored his peace of mind. Tennyson, too, threw himself into action to prevent despair from consuming him. Even Admiral Byrd, while isolated in the icy expanse of the South Pole, maintained his sanity by scheduling work to give his days structure and meaning. He later reflected that without this purpose, he might have fallen into a debilitating state. This truth, as noted by Harvard's Dr. Richard C. Cabot, is evident. Meaningful work can replace worry with courage and self-assurance. Many, like business executive Tremper Longman, overcome worry by staying occupied. When faced with financial crises in his company, Tremper realized that keeping busy helped him avoid the stress of uncertainty. Although initially overwhelmed, he found that focusing on problem solving provided a sense of control. In short, work can be a profound remedy for worry. Rather than letting our minds dwell on anxieties, staying busy with constructive tasks helps us maintain peace, build resilience, and avoid what Charles Darwin called the wibber-jibbers, those nagging anxieties that undermine our well-being.